having been annihilated at the hands of a rival drug lord mechanoid destroyer. Caius, Legal Lee, Chicken, Dong, Fat Larry, Legal Lee, Min, Slona, Truzzy, Twinborn Mink, and Legal Lee, along with their trusty animal companions Pablo, Destruction, Chapo, and Crack Joris, find themselves safe, having bartered away Legal Lee's trusty diamond toilet for passage. Well, they didn't get very far. They're on the other side of the planet now. I mean, it's a, it's a diamond toilet. It's not going to it's not gonna get them off the planet, is it? And here we are, my friends. Welcome back to Rimworld, starring all your favorite characters exactly, quite literally, exactly how we left off with them yesterday. But as I said in the intro, they have they have found their way to safety. Fat Larry made a cracking deal using Legally's diamond toilet, and it's got them safely to another bloody rainforest, Fat Larry. To be honest, the idea of still doing the drug baron thing in a rainforest is too appealing to ignore. So they are identical to how we left off yesterday. Quite literally down to the injuries they just sustained from the mechanoids. They grabbed their toilet, they grabbed whatever they could muster, their gear, the weapons, their armor, the animals, obviously. They finally landed in, an, in a new realm where they can rebuild. Now, it was a bit of a panic to get out of there on account of the mechanoids and the, well, the fire just about everywhere. Eagle was only able to grab some of the research they started last time, but it's the research that was kind of key to their expansion. Things like gun turrets, gunsmithing, microelectronics. And because Legal Lee has done a good fair amount of it before, it'll come back to him as he starts researching. So I made some few alterations to the pack as well. Firstly, I've removed vanilla expanded mechanoids. I know we can disable the Total War mechanic, but I always feel like if you're going to play... If you're going to play with vanilla expanded mechanoids, you've, you've got to play the whole thing, right? That's sort of the point. It's balanced that way. It's designed that way. To be honest, one of the main reasons I removed it is because when I first envisioned the series, I saw in my mind, and it's probably a worrying thing, I saw in my mind warehouses of prisoners and guards and mercenaries making copious amounts of drugs on behalf of Legal Lee. And having vanilla expanded mechanoids is, is fine. You know, I, I preferred that to Project Rim Factory, which is almost entirely automated. Vanilla expanded mechanoids is a bit more automated, but I, I kind of want to stick to the take the prisoners and make them make the drugs for us. So I've removed that, but I have added Project Rim Factory Lite. Now the Lite version only adds conveyor belts and storage. That's it. No automated machinery, no kind of fancy stuff, but we can get a nice production line with a load of spiritually broken people stood crafting drugs on behalf of Legal Lee. <laughs> there were some really great suggestions in the comment section yesterday as well. A lot of people suggested playing with the combat readiness check mod, which is what we used with the Void series, so that raids were balanced based on the amount of weapons, armor, defenses that you've got. Problem with that is it's a little easy to metagame, right? We could have quite literally an entirely diamond base, but as long as we don't build turrets, armor, or weapons, the raids that we get are really, really weak. So instead, what I've done is I've lowered the difficulty down a step. So we are now on uh, rough, but I decided to keep us on Diego. I like the idea of people turning up to our base and trying to attack us and take our drugs. That's kind of the point. I like the I liked it when the Empire turned up and, you know, tried to stop us realistically selling drugs to their citizens. But of course, the problem is if we do decide to build diamond buildings, which again, I would love to do because I think it's incredible, they will get very, very powerful. So it should be... It should be more balanced now, I would argue. I think it was very ambitious to be building big diamond buildings with Cassandra because it's still full of the base game raid calculations, whereas now, a little bit easier. Um, not that much easier, ultimately. We're still playing on kind of the middling difficulty there, and we're still going to have diamond houses. It should be a challenge without being overwhelming, and more importantly, will allow us to focus on what matters here. And that's ruining societies and building giant diamond statues of Legal Lee. I've actually lied to you. It's just occurred to me. I did tell a little bit of a lie when I said all of the characters are identical to how they are, and I mean that quite sincerely. They are more or less identical to how they are. Legal Lee's skills are still the same skills. They, they are the same character. I quite literally just exported their data and reimported it, so they are identical in every way, with the exception of one person, and that person is Slona. Slona realized that, bearing in mind last series, she chopped down about 50,000 trees, roughly. Realized... At long last, she does actually have a passion for plants, whereas before she was incapable of working plants, um, which meant that everything we wanted to build took 10 times longer, which is why it took six episodes to get to uh, basic buildings. I've also thrown in quarries, again, for when we get some prisoners eventually. I've also tweaked the Empire mod just based on that. I've removed all those extra building mods. They sounded fun in theory with all their kind of wacky things. Ultimately, it was unbalancing things and giving us a shitload of resources, which seemed uh, a little bit unfair. I do want there to be some challenge, but, you know, it, it's a lot better to have a diamond toilet when you've actually earned that diamond toilet, you know? So I've rebalanced it a little bit. We've got the quarry mod in, and I've taken away all that extra Empire stuff, so it's just base Empire. We're going to have to approach that very differently, too. I think the problem we 
had last time was we had like a lot of steel, but then no components, and a lot of components, but no steel. So we'll probably put down a load of different settlements. On the subject of that, the world is a lot bigger this time, um, with a lot more settlements, a lot more people to trade with, and more importantly, sell to and caravan out there. But we should have a lot more room for our own settlements now. Um, so I think this is going to be... A much nicer start. It's going to take us not very much time, I think, to get back to where we were. Uh, just based on, you know, everybody having their st skills, their gear, their weapons, their tools, more importantly. Anyway, no more talking. Only drugs. We've actually got a bit of a road on this map, too. That's kind of cool. I think it's, uh, it's an intersection of two different roads. We've got, like, a dirt road on this time. And then, like a, like, a dirt path, which doesn't really help out very much. But we can build better roads eventually. And we'll kind of have to do that if we want to make a good amount of cash. I think the first thing we need to do is tend to all those wounds we've got from the mechanoids. Because when I said they are identical, they are still quite literally bleeding out. I think we'll put down some lovely tending spots right in the middle of this dirty path. <laughs> oh, shit. They're all super, super tired because their needs carried over as well. Wow, shit. I wasn't expecting it to be that. I mean, you know, they are the same characters, so it's not really that much of a surprise. Um, but everybody wants to sleep. I don't think we've really got time to be sleeping, people. Let's get some growing zones down and start working on food, because they didn't have time to grab food or anything like that on the way out, because, you know, everything was on fire. To be honest, I'm not even sure they had any food left at the end of yesterday. <gasps> it kept their jobs as well? Best day of my life. See, I told you, we're basically right up to where we were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we very, very desperately get whatever food we can before everybody dies? And Fat Larry has quite the appetite. Fat Larry, you've brought us to a realm where the only food is lemon trees. Any good colonizers know the first thing to do is to kill all the local wildlife. <laughs> well, I probably could have predicted that one. I think that went well. <laughs> These poor guys just can't catch a break. Did we lose anything? That's the important part. Oh, well. Oh, God, come on. Oh, this armor's crazy powerful, though. Because that crypto bleed. Look, he's missing an entire fucking leg, but he's not going to bleed out. That's insane. We haven't really got the resources to build them a bathroom each this time around, so they, get, they can have a nice shared bathroom, okay? It's either that or they'll quite literally shit all over the house. So I'm, I'm, I'm fairly, fairly happy to give them one big shared bathroom. <laughs> The map had a lot of scattered resources. We've got 55 components, 539 steel, so not really that much. I don't know why I'm building this out of steel then in hindsight. Let's throw it in a wood floor. The reason I killed all those elephants, it wasn't just a fit of madness, unlike most things I end up doing. They've, they've, they've only got lemons to eat, and Caius has already got food poisoning from, from lemons already. So, firstly, we can obviously butcher the elephants, which is fantastic. Uh, but more importantly, we do need to build them some, some beds rather than just... You know, designated point on the floor. That's not hygienic, is it, Min? So now we can build them a lovely, comfortable elephant skin bed. Oh. Falari okay. Has he lost, like, both of his legs? He's fine. It's just that he's only got prosthetic legs, obviously, and those are, um, those are very damaged. Oh, no, he's got one natural leg. What do you call that? Like, na na free, free range leg? Flona actually being able to chop down plants now is such a game changer. It means it only takes her a good good few hours per tree. <laughs> Who's our cook? It's Caius, isn't it? Caius? Oh, I hate you. I... Yeah, you better eat those fucking lemons. Got 13 hours before these elephants rot. 11 hours. 6 hours. Shit. Uh, is anyone else good at cooking? Fat Larry is. Fat Larry's fucking down. Absolutely outstanding. <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't start with any other any other better characters. Chicken, you're named after an animal. Get to butchering. Thank you, Caius. Thank you for finally helping out. What the hell? Amethyst all? Quartz all? Lapis? We never had any gems at all on the last map. Obviously, we had gems. You, you saw Legal Lee's house. Holy crap, look at those components. What else we got here? Like the tiniest little bit of steel. That's actually what I'm looking for. Fucking sapphires. I don't need all these worthless, precious gemstones. Oh... That explains why they're still shitting everywhere. I didn't put down a, didn't put down a sewage outlet. Uh, yeah, I think that'll probably do it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think that'll work, but we'll, um, no, no, it works. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we didn't even have a dedicated food freezer until episode four last series. Unbelievable speed. Just ignore all the literal fecal matter over the floor. Oh, no. <gasps> Thong's just coming in to smell the roses. Actually, can we actually build? Oh, thank God. 
I was going to say, if we couldn't actually build the elephant leather bed after that, that would have been um, probably not worth it, arguably. <laughs> My favorite part is when they use the toilet and you can see the the sewage just pouring out there onto Fat Larry's bed. Okay, fine. Fat Larry definitely 100% deserves better. Prisoners, though, and I'm really going to have to... I'm really going to have to ram this place, aren't I, for the comforts? Oh, shit. <laughs> that works in real bedrooms. That's, that's how at least it works in my nan's fucking house. The more furniture you ram into a bedroom, apparently the more comfortable it is. Lord, nan, Jesus Christ, why do you need all these fucking cabinets? More shit for us to go through when you die. <laughs> it's okay, she she doesn't watch these because she's she's dead. She's not actually, but she can't. She, she won't watch these because she doesn't have internet, Okay. She doesn't, she doesn't understand technology. Hideous. Absolutely fucking hideous. But it's the opposite of last base, where we made it as nice as possible. Well, debatably. It was made of diamonds, which doesn't really make it nice. But it was made of diamonds. It was form over functionality. Completely opposite here. We haven't got, we haven't got time for form. We're only functionality. You gotta climb over two dresses and an end table to get into bed. <laughs> Masterwork. Yeah, honestly, I... Couldn't have said better myself. Now, the problem with the last base, aside from the diamond statues, diamond toilet, diamond walls, and ripping down the external wall a total of three times, the problem with it is it was a little bit too big. It was a little overambitious. You know, we had a lot of empty space. A lot of it was just farmland, which all, honestly doesn't really need protecting. If they burn it, they burn it. We can always replant it. And to be honest, the most important stuff, we can either greenhouse or use hydroponics and bees and that type of thing. We didn't need to put a big wall around all those fucking farms. So the cotton is... uh. 69% grown. Nice. When that's done, I think we're just going to take sandbags and we're just going to whack it around maybe just like this bit. Um, obviously not like that. That would be absurd. We can make it out of the elephant skin. We've got 420 elephant skin left. What a time to be alive. What if that would do it? And to be fair, we don't need to put it around the whole thing. We could just do like here and here as defensive positions. Do like little, uh, little pillboxes. I'll see how much it would be to cover the whole thing because that would be that would be kind of ideal. Let's see if like, uh, would that be 630 bollocks. So if we went for the cloth to come in first. Oh, kind gift. So I just put down a couple of wood fire generators and I was going to say then we could go out mining steel or components and actually put down turrets. We don't have to worry about that now because we've got those ships that have just fallen. So we go a couple of military turrets. The spotlights are incredible for dazzling enemies. The searchlights knock their vision down by 50%, meaning that ranged enemies become oh, not, not entirely useless, but half as accurate, right? A spare room here. Can I fit a high tech? No. No, definitely not. What the hell are you thinking? Put it outside. Have a nice outdoor lab. That's kind of fun. Um, I guess we could just tack it on down the end here. Move the wind pump. Oh my god, there's a lot of compacting machinery. Look at it all up here. That's one, two, three, four, five veins. I think there's another one over here somewhere. That is insane. The one thing we actually need, which is bloody steel, there's barely any of. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. You better not be better not be mechanoids. I think I'm going to refuse them until I have guest beds. We barely have beds for our own people. They're just sleeping on the giant skinned elephants right now. Oh, Legal Lee, I can't believe that you and only you, Legal Lee, forgot battery research. <laughs> oh, good. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Uh, rather than falling into the trap I fall into every series, which is building the base out of the most vulnerable materials I can possibly get my hands on, we're going to put down, get this, and ooh, electric stone cutters tables. How brave. Oh my god, that's all the steel gone. Are you kidding me? There's got to be some more on the map somewhere, right? Do we saw some down the bottom left, I believe? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. That is a... <gasps> yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Well, we might not be fine. Oh, hello there. Well, that's the wrong series. Can't do that in both series. That's illegal. Seems a little unfair playing, playing horseshoes with the with the <laughs> with the draft from the wind turbine. <laughs> oh yes, my good friends, the seaside townsfolk of the Shadow Gorge. Yuki boy. What what have we got here? Uh, give me give me give me Fat Larry. You always give me fat Larry. We need as much silver as we can get our hands on. Oh my god, I grew a little bit too much cloth. We need as much silver as we can get our hands on so that we can immediately start on Empire. Now, this time around, I think the problem we got into last time is I was playing far too tall. The problem with that is you're limited in terms of what you can tithe. If we, you know, if we go for one site where we're trying to tithe steel and plasteel and gold and components, it doesn't guarantee that you get a mix of that. You might just get all steel or all components or all gold, which is a bit pointless. So we need to go for like three different sites, one for each material. So we're not going to play as tall this time with, with Empire. Um, and because we haven't got all those ridiculously overpowered buildings, um, it's, it's going to be a lot harder to manage. Let's sell some cloth then, shall we? 
let's not sell. I, I mean, I do need some. Let's go for like... Uh... Okay, let's sell them 1,176. We'll keep 1,000 for ourselves. Two advanced components. Holy shit, game changer. There we go. So I bought two bees in a billiards table. A Fat Larry story. That's going to be his... Uh... Oh, right. Shit, yeah. Uh, that's going to be his autobiography. Uh, you got... Shit, bee eggs. Cook them into a meal, I guess. What the fuck do you mean, bee eggs? Uh, chicken eggs produced by an egg laying bee. I mean, bees do lay eggs, but not like the mm, tasty I'll have one for my breakfast. Well, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could. I guess you could. I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Fat Larry. I haven't thought this through, have I? Uh, let's move the chess table. We'll have a dedicated colony chess room. All the kids love chess these days. Bees and bees. Okay, we've only got wooden bee house right now, but... Actually, I wonder if they'll even work, because it's the wrong climate. I'm going to allow one more cotton harvest, but then after that, we'll swap it out for... I mean, shit. What do you think about cold hard drugs? What's our stone on this map? Granite? Is that granite? Oh, slate. Fuck. Well, whatever. Uh, fine. We'll just say make slate blocks and do forever. Ooh. I did that during the 500% um, threat series we did. And the problem with that is we ended up with shitloads of blocks that nobody would buy. Let's, I don't know, let's, let's, do an, let's be a bit more careful about things. We've got to be careful early on until we get like good defenses, good weapons and whatnot. We've seen what happens if we don't. I'm sorry, Legal Leap. We live in this crazy backwards world where, for some reason, turrets and defenses come before diamond walls. Why are they not turning on? Hey. Oh, we're out of power already. Fuck. Pan Panther? Hello? Health? <gasps> it was killed by a tortoise? Not killed, but almost killed by a tortoise. What a guy. Oh, God, it's the feds. They're indifferent to us right now, because obviously we haven't done anything technically illegal yet. You know, call me crazy here, but now we've got the ability to focus on the research that we actually want and not just what the game decides to give us. We could go for bionics. Like, actual bionics and not these really shitty 50% efficiency prosthetics. Everyone says the bees are OP, so we're going to go for it. Legal ease, actual legal bees. Well, until we can set up a drugs trade. And for a faction this time, we're going to go expansionist. So, our first summon is free. Starting after our first year, we get 50% reduction on further settlements. And then any settlements we get start level 2, so we can build another building, get more workers and whatnot. Uh, then we're also gonna go with feudal again because you gotta pay it to the king. In this case, that's legally. Uh, legally is legal volunteers, and the faction title is volunteer force. Done. Okay. My well, mistake I made last time was basically having them like immediately start start doing like medicine research and shit. Like, sure, it's more thematically appropriate, but we're not here for we're not here for that. We we can make that ourselves. So all the way up here, like I'm looking for was it not like arid? Oh right, this is steps. Um, no desert. See, that's a bit of a... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. All the way on the other side of the planet. Yeah, there it is. 1.5625 is the best we can do. It's quite far away, so it would take a bloody long time for tithes to get back to us. So that's the only problem. It's probably not worth it. 1.25, 1.25. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy just to go for a slightly lower base value and actually have them get the shit to us a bit sooner. That's our first one down. It's only 750 to settle another one, you know? We've got, like, one there, and then, like, we want to go as close as possible, right? So we'll set another one there. Fuck it. And then it's 2,000. Okay, well, well, I guess that'll have to do, won't it? Oh, hello. What the fuck is wrong with this place? It just catches fire. What are you doing on those slate bricks? Because I think we're going to need them. 600. Should we just stick a big wall up around our base? We could have a wall, and then we've got the kind of sub defensive. We just do something like that, right? That's probably fine. <laughs> Twinborn Mink was in the shower, and Slona just fucking walked in and started replacing the walls. <laughs> settlement formed. The settlement mentone has been formed. Oh, no. Mentone or methadone? We could call it the methadome. 10 out of 10. As in, Doug Dimmodome's methadome. <laughs> I mean, come on, we're not complete animals. This is a crack home, not a crack house. So we can just afford a quarry in both crack home and <laughs> methadome. Oh, wowee, look at the profits. Wow, that's, uh... That's disappointing compared to where we were before. Oh, come on! Chicken and Truzzy, we're well, now we have to build another fucking bedroom. <sighs> fine, okay. Okay, fine, we'll put the friggin' sewage elsewhere. We have a pond. Oh, there's a pond right there. Uh, you know what? We'll put it. We'll put it down here. It's okay. You know we can clean that up, Fat Larry. 
Is that just permanent? That's just permanent sewage, is it? Well, you know. Fortunately, we sold the elephant leather, so one of them is going to have to have a nice, comfy, plain old regular bed. We can't do too much because we don't have a multi-analyzer, but I think complex electronics is a safe bet. Hydroponics, prosthetics, or we could start heading into... What do we need for full-on bionics? I mean, that is a multi-analyzer, but we still need this. So we might as well uh, we might as well start with that. And then we'll go bee hybridizing, because that's always good. Thermal power? What the hell is that thing there? You see that? Oh, advanced geothermal generator. Which mod adds that? I think it's more comfortable than the elephant skin beds. 1.24, Brennan mind it's excellent quality. Oh, there's an excellent bed. 1.19. Oh, shit. They are slightly better. Oh, shit, this is hard. I'm thinking either mercantile or resilient this time. So can't lose buildings or settlement levels upon a failed defense. Yeah, I think I've got to. I... <gasps> a creep with an alligator named Ziggy is crashing nearby. Ziggy. Ziggy played guitar, jamming good with Worthing Gilly and the spiders from Mars. Save him, for fuck's sake, Larry. What the hell are you playing at? Couldn't think of anything more perfect for our two rhinos and a monkey. Then, wait, and crack Joris, how could, how could I forget? <laughs> what the fuck, Ziggy? He turns their back on Legal Lee. You big fucking bitch. I can't believe you killed it in one shot. That was so good. <laughs> just, just put his foot on that alligator's tail and put his gun right up its ass. <laughs> so fucking good. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'd forgotten about this. Life in the jungle without a fucking wall up. Uh, Twin Ball Mink, I wouldn't be lying around. That panther looks very hungry. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, fuck off. Move. When are you ready? Oh, God, please be careful. Okay, okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Slona? Is Slona threatening to beat that panther to death with a hammer? You've got a gun, use it. Why is running gun disabled? Hey, shoot, shoot them. Shoot that fucking panther. Don't let it escape. Don't let it disrespect you like that. That's what I thought. <sighs> it's a different panther hunting the same person. These are going to get right on my fucking nerves. Hold on. I've got it. I've got a genius idea. Manager's desk. Kill panther. Oh, wait. Kill predators. <laughs> this one's for you, Chris Hansen. <laughs> well, that tiger's pissed. Turns out it's not a fan of being shot with a minigun. This is the cruelest thing I've ever seen. You gotta just leave it there to bleed out, you fucking idiot. Hey, there we go. Look at this. Good stonks. What on earth is happening here? Twinborn Mink tried to romance Slona. <gasps> no. Slona married to Caius has begun an affair with Twinborn Mink. So what happens with that then? So... Do we have to give them both a double bed? It's so rare that, they, that, that affairs actually happen in RimWorld. Uh, let's give it a go. I'm not saying I'm here to encourage it. What I'm saying is I'm here to make sure things are done in the most efficient way possible. If that means if that means Slona needs a little bit of excitement to, to help her get up in the mornings, then I'm, well, I'm going to facilitate it. So we basically have to pick who we... Oh, no. Caius is just going to have to be heartbroken because Slona is already happy. Oh, I'm so sorry, Caius. You know, I think I've only ever done this once. Dio... D Dio Atos, Kova, a propagandist, is calling from nearby. He has deserted the army of the Fallen Empire. He's been hunted by a loyalty squad. He wishes to join us. And he has... Uh, he knows the case of a key outpost containing everything we need to develop to Silink Neuroformers. Given some of the things that we fought, three champions and a Janissary is... um. Big, big babby, tiny babby play. Only except if you wish to fight against the Fallen Empire and develop your Psycasters on your own. Welcome aboard, Kova. Kova, it's now Avion. I renamed it without even looking at his stats. What's he like? Incapable of firefighting, that's not ideal. Is he a py Oh no, so not pyromaniac, just heat and climbed. Okay, very weird. Loves the brightness and heat of a dry summer day. Careful shooter is nice. Terrible shooting stat though, Menagerist? Tame animal and trained animal up by 20% is very, very nice. 11 artistic, double passion, crafting, double passion. Intellectual devil passion. We could put him on as a uh, backup. Or, I was going to say a backup researcher for Legal Lee. Or, we put him in charge of the drugs. The annoying thing about Rimworld, of course, is that drugs come on. Thank you, OBS, you big bitch. Uh, Legal Lee is our only intellectual character. And of course, drugs come under intellectual. That means that we have nobody in the colony right now capable of doing it. Avion, though, 
with a double passion in drugs. Basically puts them in the, in the perfect place to take over. Caius is up there, but to be honest, I think Caius is more likely to um, do the drugs literally rather than make the drugs. And then we've also got Fat Larry, potentially single passion there too. We've got people that are that are trainer-uppers, but our best trainer-upper now becomes Avion. Actually, not by medical either. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... We'll leave you on nurse, but I won't bother with the, uh, won't bother with the other stuff. Let's put everybody on bed rest, and then let's go and just give you the, the kind of generic loadout. You know how it is. Here they are, the loyalty squad. I think, honestly, we'll probably just end up fucking annihilating them. Um, there's four of them with plate armor and scarves versus... I mean, legally alone could probably deal with this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Stick to the trees. Let's come down from this angle because this area obviously burnt down. There's no bloody cover now. Send him. Can I take that? Is that is that for me? It's a regular old plasma sword. Give it to Sloaner. Bring him down. Come on. Come on. Coil gun? Shit. Uh, who are you aiming at? Sloaner. Sloaner, start moving. God damn, those things suck. Okay, okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't move behind people because those coil guns do... Shit. Those coil guns do... Hit through multiple targets, don't forget. Right. Haul ass. Throw up some smoke. Haul ass. Where was that smoke? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was on one of the people that we'd taken down here. Come on. Come on, sniper squad. Running and gunning with a sniper, quite famously, not the best idea. That Larry's taken a while to get there. I mean, we all know why, don't we? Right, go on, move over. Uh, chicken, I'm going to take you off of duty just because you've got kind of a flamethrower rather than an actual useful weapon. <gasps> Photios. Hello. Nine melee. Heat and climbs optimist. We'll see how optimistic you are when you're in the fucking warehouse, my friend. <gasps> oh, we got a free plasma sword out of it, too. We got any good gear to strip? You can make an argument shield battle for Sloan is not bad. I would like all of these people in the warehouse. We need to build a warehouse now. I have to turn the uh to turn the chess room into a prison instead. That's quite annoying. Right, Caius, grab him. Who else isn't injured? Legally, grab him. Min? Strip him, then grab him? I have a feeling this person will die before we get there. What, what are they looking? Six hours. Oh, no, we should be fine. Talk about an upgrade for Slona, though. Magic laser sword and a shield? This is incredible. Bollocks. We should be started tending to them as well. You fucking shit. Mass graves are fine and all, but I think I'm going to go straight for the crematorium this time. I don't normally do that, but... I mean, every time we build a mass grave, some idiot ends up Caius. It, it's Caius. Some idiot just ends up digging it up, and then it becomes everybody else's problem. Research for Legal Lee. What are we going to throw at you now, Legal Lee? Hot tubs? Smart toilets? That was pretty good last time. Drill for oil. Go right back into the oil, even though it... <laughs> even though every time we do it, it blows up and does absolutely nothing for us. I'm in. Oh, no, wait a minute. She's min. <laughs> Re-socialization offer? What the fuck? Offer by Photios. Well, he's offering to, to join us? Am I... I don't know what that means. <laughs> Research... Oh, ready to join the colony. Oh, shit. Look at that. You better not... You better not betray me. Do we even want them to join the colony? Hang on a minute. I think it would be... You know, I don't think I do. I think I'd rather just keep you as a... Uh... A, a volunteer. Perfect. I can see it now. It's really starting to come along. Let's throw down a... Just so we don't have to spend, you know, too long every day fucking with them. Let's throw down a nutrient paste dispenser. Oh, I could have worked into that wall there, couldn't I? I guess we still could. Guess we'll tack on a utility room here at the back. We might as well... We might as well keep them as complacent as possible, right? It's not much of a cost to legal Lee. Just to pump a little bit of hot water into there. Just to shut them up and keep them decently happy. That's that's a worthy cost. All right, there you go. Welcome to your new home where you'll be in the employ of legal Lee for the rest of your human lives. Pablo is apparently prison guard. With these stall doors added by Dubs Bad Hygiene, basically it treats it all as the same room. So they can share the same shower. They can use the same kind of kitchen area here without needing to... Without needing to get, like, a locks mod or anything like that. No. <laughs> what the fuck is it with this game and my animals being lightning rods? Oh, man. Yeah, this was, like, the worst place for geothermal vents, eh? Shit, we can't do anything with that. Well, the final thing I want to look at today, and I almost dread to say these words that I'm about to. Then we can drill for oil. Let's go with the... <laughs> Resource console. God, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I guess we can throw it down in here and use this as a workroom for us as well. 
But if we divide it in half so the prisoners can only get to, like, this area here. How many drugs workbenches are we going to need, ultimately? Well, the answer to that is fucking loads. No. Come on. I built everything out of fucking concrete. I'm, I'm going to concrete over this bloody jungle. That's fine, Mad Boomalo. That's fine. The Steam Fort? Who the fuck? Oh my god, look at Twinborn Mink. What the hell are you wearing? The Steam Fort. A group of scurvy sea dogs. They're pirates. The best day of my life. Well, we haven't got enough components to build the oil well anyway, so we will leave it there for today, ready to fight some pirates tomorrow. Who would have guessed? I think we've done a pretty goddamn good job of rebuilding. We've already got a warehouse down filled with prisoners, which is more than we achieved entirely last series. By last series, I mean... I mean, yesterday. Thank you to the executive producer patrons for allowing Legal Lease Adventures to continue for another day. Thank you to Evie Moon, Amore the Fox, Moira, Gazoos, Oliver, Dickcrack62, Little Gump, Queen Bav, Morda, Emily, But I'm Homeless, Tremere, Regent, Papa, Snow, Low Res Quail, Veazine, Juiceda, Avion Prime, and Apple Cat, along with everyone else, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making this episode possible. Existing. Existences. What was I trying to say? Thank you to a good chunk of Balsa, Sam Haruni, Craigon, Cass, Taters Angus, Stalker, Pepe, Bucky, Moondoggy, Nyancat17, and Bullplop as well. 